Okay, uh, next reaction are halohydrin reactions. So halo meaning we're going to be adding a halogen, so chlorine or bromine, for example, and hydrin being that the other one is going to be coming from that word hydration is going to be an OH group, okay? Um, so just taking a look sort of broadly at what one of these reactions would be. Again, I have my two vinyl carbons to one, I guess we can color code, and then these are going to be reacting in the presence of water and a halogen. And I'm going to get, well, I guess I got this backwards. Water and a halogen. And I'm gonna get a halogen on one of those formerly vinyl carbons and water is going, or an alcohol group is going to form on the other uh, carbon, the other vinyl carbon. Okay, so these are a hydro halo uh, hydrin reaction. Okay, and just like they start off just like our other um, uh, halogenation reactions in that you form these cyclic bromonium intermediates, right? So just like we saw before, the first step is going to be the formation of this cyclic bromonium ion. But now, instead of having the bromide ion playing the role of the nucleophile and attacking that bromonium ion, you have a lot of water in solution. And so water is going to play the role of a nucleophile and attack that bromonium ion. Notice what type of addition is this? Is this syn or anti or does it not matter? This is specifically going to be an anti addition because you're going through that cyclic bromonium ion, okay? Um, so notice again, it has that sort of lazy shorthand for you're also going to get the enantiomer. Okay, um, and then so again, first step here, or first step is the formation of that bromonium ion, just like we had last lecture. The next step is water is going to play the role of a nucleophile and attack that bromonium ion. Uh, this is going to get you. Um, that oxonium ion again. And so the last step in order to finish this off is going to be to deprotonate that oxonium ion, removing that hydrogen, leaving it as an alcohol group. Okay. Um, when it's bromine and water, it's a bromohydrin. When it's chlorine and water, it's a chlorohydrin. Okay. Both of those are going to be anti additions, though. Okay, these are also regioselective reactions in that the halogen is going to go form on the less highly substituted carbon and the alcohol group is going to be found on the more highly substituted carbon, right? So in this example here, this is my highly more highly substituted carbon. That's the one that will get the OH group. So these are regioselective reactions. Um, and the reason for that is because of um, when you form this bromonium ion, the water, right? So here we have our first step here, formation of that bromonium ion. So let's actually just do it from scratch real quick. All right, let's say I'm asking for the reaction mechanism here. Well, the first thing I'm gonna show Is my double bond playing the role of the nucleophile? That's going to kick off this leaving group here. And then at the same time, this attacks this other carbon forming that cyclic bromonium ion. Um, so then in the next step, there's a nucleophilic attack for water. It selectively attacks that more highly substituted carbon because when this bond breaks here, the transition state for that puts a positive charge on that carbon, okay? And remember, carbons that are more highly substituted are more likely to want to bear a positive charge, right? Think carbocations. Here, it's not quite a carbocation that forms. It's just the transition state, meaning um, this bond right here is partially broken and this bond right here is partially formed, the more stable transition state will have the partial positive charge on that more highly substituted carbon. Again, then the last step is you gotta deprotonate that oxonium ion 
Um, and that's just going to be done by another water molecule that's in solution. Okay, so here's just an illustration of that again, in terms of this transition state. Again, transition state, remember that me, that's, that's that highest point on the energy landscape. It's not the same thing as an intermediate. Um, so this isn't quite the same thing as a carbocation, but nonetheless, when this bromine carbon bond is partially broken, and this oxygen carbon bond is partially formed, there is a partial positive charge on that carbon. Well, it's going to be more stable to do so if that carbon is the more highly substituted carbon than the reverse. Like if it was this carbon here, that's going to form a less stable transition state. So that's why we're going to get the alcohol group specifically is going to form on the more highly substituted carbon. Okay. Um, so in terms of our halo hydrogen reactions, Do you have to know the mechanism for these reactions? Yes. These are ones that I would expect you to know the mechanisms for. And again, specifically that cyclic intermediate. Are these reactions regioselective? They are with the OH on the more the OH group forming on the more highly substituted carbon and the bromine group forming on the less highly substituted carbon. And then lastly, again, because these go through that cyclic intermediate, are they stereoselective? Um, yes, these are anti-additions, right? So the hydroxide group and the bromine will be attached on opposite sides of that alkene. 